I would say my process is almost a plan spontaneity. For me, there's almost a certain amount of structure you need to provide to allow the spontaneity to occur. It depends what you're near and what you're around to really the way it affects your mind and the creative process. I mean, I find if it's just a blank room, there's not much to stimulate or much for me to see or do. So I really find it's important that I go to places in different atmospheres and really feel, really be able to soak it in. Some of those involve being here local in New York City, from anywhere from my rooftop right up here, coming up here on a beautiful day, to walking around New York, to all sorts of international places around the world. It's a certain amount of creating the structure and then within that structure, allowing for the spontaneous things to happen. Maybe just something I see, maybe it's an alley I see, maybe it's a shop I see, maybe it's, for example, I was in South America not long ago and walking down the street, there was a set of stairs going up. And I literally had no idea where these stairs were going to. It was one of those cases of, it seemed like a good idea, so why not? So walking, 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 it's getting a little late in the day, the sun's starting to set over the valley. And the further up I walked, I kept pushing and pushing and pushing. The views became better and better and better. So to me, the best part about buying somewhere is the most unexpected of places, things that you have never thought you have come across that really inspire and give new ideas and new ways of looking at things.